What is up YouTube? This is PZCSCN here and 2016 is rapidly coming to a close. In fact, tomorrow will be the first day of 2017, believe it or not. And you know what that means? That means that it is time for my annual Zippo collection update in which I showcase all of the Zippos that I've acquired in the past year. And uh, this year I actually have kind of slacked off a bit. I don't have as many as normal, but Hopefully that'll mean that this will be a shorter video than normal and you guys will probably be able to watch the whole thing. So anyways, without further ado guys, let's go ahead and let's get into this video. I do want to go ahead and warn you though that I do have a bit of a cold or I'm getting over a cold. So I apologize if I sound funny in this video and I apologize if I make any funny noises at all during this video. I just can't help it. I'll do my best not to, but anyways, without further ado guys, for real, let's go ahead. And let's get into it, starting with the first Zippo I got this year. Ba-boom. Here it is. This is actually a 1941 replica, as you can tell from the box. And I believe I got this around like March or April. It seems like it took me a little while to start buying Zippos this year. I can't remember for sure, but I could be wrong on that front. And, uh, but anyways, regardless, I did eventually start buying them, obviously. And um, here it is, the 1941 replica. The model specifically is 28882 Replica Black Crackle. All right, and uh, let's take a look at it. Well, there it is. Now, this one has been my EDC for a good long while. In fact, it might even still have fluid in it. I don't know. Oh, it does. I've been carrying this one lately. I actually retired it recently and switched back to my high polished brass armor, but this is what the black cracker looks like after it has been used pretty heavily. I've used this thing for pretty much most of the year and it is an awesome, awesome user. I recommend if you're gonna get yourself a replica, especially if you wanna get yourself a 1941 replica to use, that you go for something like the black crackle because it is awesome. So, in fact, if you want a Black Crackle Zippo in general, I would just recommend getting the Black Crackle 1941. Anyway, let's look at the bottom stamp on this. You can see this is actually made in January of this year. Or no, is that, yeah, that's a 16. So it was made January of this year, so at the very start of the year. And the insert was made in November of last year. So there's kind of a, a gap in there, but obviously, as I've said before, the fact that there is a gap between the insert date and the actual date on the bottom doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean it's a fake. It doesn't mean it's a ripoff. It just means that the Zippo and the insert were made in different times. That's all that means. So, yep, there you go. This is an awesome user. Definitely recommend you guys check that one out if you are in the market for a Black Crackle or any kind of 1941 replica if you just want something simple. So, yeah. And relatively inexpensive, too, on Amazon. All right, so next up, we have got this one. This comes in the standard black box, as you can tell. Now, the model on this one is the Facebook exclusive 2016. Yes, this is model 161 or 151. You can see this is this is number 29 out of 150. So this is actually a limited run. For those of you who don't know, Zippo likes to do some Facebook exclusive models in which fans of their Facebook page get a chance to purchase an exclusive Zippo made just for them. So I've been doing that for the past little while and um, this is the one that they released this year. Normally they release like two of these a year, but this year they only released one, at least to my knowledge. I don't think I missed out on anything this year. But um, here it is, ba-boom. It's absolutely pretty. It's really, really hard to capture it though, um, as you can see. But it is actually on a spectrum finish. So here it is. It's on a nice spectrum finish. It's a little dirty, it looks like. As you can see. And um, yeah, you can see it's got a very prominent Zippo logo on the front kind of mosaic in design, which I really, really like. It's almost three-dimensional, in fact. It's really kind of cool how they managed to make it catch the light. And you can see the numbering is on the side here, number 29 out of 150. There's your inset. The insert is going to be made in February of this year. And if you're wondering, the actual Zippo was made in January of this year, kind of like this one, so. Interesting, you can see on the back we just have their standard 
wording, but we do have special edition as opposed to Made in USA, or Made in USA is a below special edition, but yeah, nothing really particularly fancy about the iCard, except for that at the top, so yeah, there you go. Um, these are awesome. I highly recommend you guys get on board with these Facebook exclusives because, and this is actually something I meant to mention at the start of the video, but I'll just go ahead and mention it here. This year, I actually sold two of my Facebook exclusive Zippos, and I sold them for $200 each. That is a huge profit. That's over like a 500% profit, I want to say, at least on one of them. So, yeah. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for this one specifically. I think it was around like 30 bucks. But honestly, I think the most expensive the most expensive one that I sold was $50. And then the other one was like $15. And both of them he bought for $200 a piece. I'm not sure if that's a very common occurrence. But yeah, these are very, very good to go ahead and purchase. They're good little things that you can eventually resell and make yourself some a nice profit. So kind of neat. Kind of neat how that works. Zippo collectors will really, really enjoy purchasing the uh, limited edition Zippos, especially when they're out of production, obviously. All right, so next up, we have got this one. Now, this one was also an EDC of mine. Let's go and take a look at the bottle. It's 28970. This is the Skull Soft Touch, all right? Now, this is a new model, I think, for last year is when Zippo released these soft touches. And I have been interested in these soft touches for so long, and I finally got around to getting one this year. Now, here it is. And as I mentioned in the video on this one, it is a little bit weird looking. It doesn't look exactly like what you would have expected based on the standard stock photos on Zippo's website and on Amazon. Uh, as you can see, it does look a little bit strange, but... Alas, it's it's just kind of what Zippo's doing with these. You know, you're, you, they just kind of randomize the design for some reason on these. You can see it's got a little fancy packaging feature. Feel the difference, soft touch. And it does feel very soft. The only way I really know how to describe it is that it feels a bit like one of those old style like uh, cell phones. I don't know if the Nokia phones felt like it, but definitely some of the older cell phones that had like that rubberized plastic back. You know, it feels exactly like those. It might even be a little bit grippier, but I mean, you can see it's pretty grippy. So there it is. Um, it does look a lot like a matte Zippo though on camera, but believe me, it, it does have a totally unique and totally different feeling than a matte Zippo. There's your inset, as you can see. I actually did carry this one for a good bit and I uh, just wanted to see how the finish would hold up. And I made a separate video on that. You can see that some of the finish, like right there especially, started to rub off and wear off. So that was a little bit disappointing. But um, all in all, I think it was good that I did that because I would not have been able to tell you that had I not done that. So anyway, the date this thing was made is going to be, oh shoot, uh, October of last year. So this was made October of 2015. And the insert, and this thing was actually made in December of last year. So near the end of last year, almost a year ago, actually. In fact, it could be a year ago from now, by now, who knows? So that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, I really, really like this one. They make another one called the Zombie. Um, I'm a little bit less of a fan of that design than I am of this design. This is definitely my favorite of the two, but I do want to eventually get the zombie one. We'll see if I ever do get it, but yeah. This little thing is just a little piece of bent up cardboard. So let's see if we can get that back in there and fix that. There you go. Feels the difference, soft touch. Not bad, definitely a good one to at least have in your collection uh, because it is so unique from all the other Zippo models. All right, these next two are actually shown in the same video. And in fact, the same thing is gonna go for the two after that. So let's go ahead and let's get into number four. Now here it is. You can see it comes in the standard black box like most of these. Zivac, we have got model 228 regular royal blue. Yeah, this is going to be a nice simple design. There it is. 
Uh, normally when I get one of these plain ones, I do like to get the one with the Zippo logo on it, but I really like the way this one looks, just straight up plain blue. So, here it is. I might actually get this one, thinking about it eventually with a Zippo logo on it. I think that would look pretty nice. Um, here it is. Very nice, just a matte blue Zippo. Very simple, very clean. I really am a big fan of simple Zippo designs, obviously, in case you haven't gathered from my past uh, Zippo collection updates and from my past Zippo videos. Um, I do have an, uh, I do really like these simple designs. I mean, here's the back, or the bottom, I should say. This is J of 2015, so that would be October of 2015 again, kind of like this one. And the insert is going to be October of last year so they're actually the exact same so in this case we have to have a matching case and insert date so again doesn't really be anything special just means that they're made the same month um, I was going to use this one I was thinking about making this into a user but I never did and uh, I'm not sure if I ever am going to do that I just really like this blue uh, maybe I'll do that next year we'll see because it is a really really nice color um, it does still have a flint in there so Probably should, might as well. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's it. Real short, real sweet, real simple. All right, so that is number four. And number five, like I said, I uh, actually shown in the same video. This is actually, I ordered both of these. I've ordered this one and this one off of Amazon. And they were both in the same order. So number five, we have got, <coughs> excuse me. Number 28888, which is a really nice model number. This is gonna be the neon orange yeah so here this one is and you can see that is a very bright orange color yeah this is absolutely super neon orange all right take it out the neat thing about these neon models is that you can see they're very shiny they're very glossy it's very unique from a lot of the other zippos the only other zippo models that do that that aren't neon are going to be the zippo lemon which I never actually wound up getting this year. That was on my Zippo wish list, but never actually got one, unfortunately. Yeah, it still has a flint in it, too. Um, so anyway, there it is. Neon orange. You can see it's very bright. It is glowing in my hands. If I show you the bottom stamp here, you'll see that the, bo that the contrast between the brass and the actual neon orange finish itself is pretty staggering. Um, it's, it's definitely glowing. Uh, this, is, this one was made, it looks like, in... May of last year all right and I think part of the reason why it's glowing so much is because I've actually got two lamps hitting down on these zippos I'm trying to get some better lighting than what I had last year and uh, that is part of why it's glowing so much um, it does react very nicely to UV light as I demonstrated in the video on this one um, glows very brightly under UV light now the insert was made it looks like in is that a C that's a G a G of 16? I can't make that out. Is that a 16 or a 15? That's a 16. So wait, when was the case made? Let me look at this to myself. Oh, actually, this was made in May of 2016. And the insert was made in July. It was made in July of this year. So yeah, pretty recent, actually. That's, that's very cool. Anyway, that is... That's that's the uh, that's your neon orange for you. Again, another really simple one. I again really like this the simple zippos. Um, very very cool indeed. Um, definitely definitely would recommend getting yourself a neon zippo, especially if you're into kind of carrying them around for like camping purposes. Obviously, if you were to drop this one, you would have no trouble at all spotting it, especially if the sun's up because the sun's going to make it glow like a freaking beacon. Um, it's really incredible outside when you have these outside. So, in fact, you can see just sitting here that it is glowing like a, it is literally glowing like a beacon. All the other ones look kind of dark and subdued compared to it. We'll have to, well, that's, uh, that's pretty funny in my opinion. All right, now, unfortunately, we are down to our last two Zippos. Yeah, like I said, we didn't really get a whole lot this year, but it's been a really busy year for me. I haven't really had a lot of time to really make Zippo videos and let alone purchase new Zippos. Um... So, unfortunately, that's just kind of been the way that this year has been. So, I'm hoping that next year I'll be able to find a little bit more time to make some videos for you guys. And, um, yeah, but anyway, 
Unfortunately, we're down to the last two for this video, and uh, let's go ahead and let's check these out. So let's go ahead and start off with this one. Now, this one comes in the older style packaging, and I should also mention that I bought this one and the next one at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Our family went down to uh, Sevierville, Tennessee, and uh, went into Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and I bought these. So there you go. This is a very, very old style box, you can see. Now, if we take a look at the bottom of this one, you will see we've got 1600 Slim BF Rose Gold. I can't remember what the B and the F stand for. Um, seems like I figured out what B stands for in a past video, but I honestly can't remember. So yeah, this is actually a Rose Gold style Zippo. Um, let's go ahead and let's check it out. It opens up like this. It actually has a hinge on it. There's also a plastic case in case you can't, in case you haven't noticed. Um, it has a little hinge on it. You can actually use this as a stand, which I think is a really, really cool feature. I wish Zippo would still do that with some of their boxes, but I mean, unfortunately, they just don't. You can kind of get around it though, uh, if you're creative and good at origami. You can make like the guarantee into a little support for the lid and whatnot. But anyway, this does actually pop off nice and easily. And there it is. You can see I actually carried this one around a bit from the, all the scratches. Um, there's a lot of scratches on this one because around the same time I got this one, my good friend actually got me like a chunk of carbon. And she said to carry it around. It's like good for your energy and whatnot. So I've just been carrying it around with me. And uh, unfortunately, this Zippo is in the same pocket that that chunk of carbon was in. And carbon plus metal tends to equal scratch metal. So yeah, there you go. That is why this is so beat up looking. I didn't really carry this one for very long, uh, mostly because it kind of pained me to see it get scratched up so much. But there it is. This one shouldn't have any fluid left in it. It's trying to light though, wow. I haven't carried this one in a long time, but there it is, you can see. I actually, the original insert on this one was rose gold plated as well. But I took it out and replaced it with the one that came with the black ice one because I did not want to damage the rose gold plating on that insert. Um, because as you know, plated inserts tend to get scratched up and look really ugly really quickly. So unfortunately, that is how that is. So I don't really have the date on that insert. Maybe I'll check it, check on it uh, while editing this video and post it like down here or something for you guys. But in terms of the actual date on this one, We've got an L of XIII, and if I remember correctly, that means 1998, I think. Again, I'm going to have to double check on that, and uh, I'll post it down here if I'm correct or not. But yeah, I believe that stood for 1998 when I last checked it. So there you go. This Zippo was made in December of 1998. It's definitely like new old stock. I got it in brand new condition. It still kind of had the, the orange sticker on it. The orange sticker was rubbing off of it, unfortunately. But there you go. Uh, pretty cool. I am a big fan of it. And it also, again, came from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. So I think I paid like 10 bucks for it. It was really cheap. Um, not a bad deal at all, in fact. Now, finally, we've got the last one. And the last one, oh goodness, bumping the tripod. And I think I was scooting the tripod a little bit too. The last one also came from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. You can see this one comes in the standard Zippo black box. And if we take a look at the bottom, you'll see this one is 28808 Luxury Waves. I paid $35 for this, which is a very good deal. Smoky Mountain Knife Works sells Zippos for incredibly cheap. It's really awesome. It's almost like going to Amazon and purchasing, actually. Here it is. And this is a great zipper to end out on because as you can see, this is an armor case. And for those of you who are not particularly familiar with Zippos, armor case Zippos are a little bit thicker and a little bit heavier than your standard Zippo. In fact, it tells you right here, oops, the little packaging feature fell off. You can see from this that it is a uh, crystallized design, which the word crystallized is kind of misprinted, it looks like. But anyway, you can see that from this description what the uh, armor Zippos are actually, what the uh, deal is with the armor Zippos. And there's the original price tag of $49.95. So not a bad deal on this one, truthfully. I'm, I'm really quite pleased that I was able to get it for that much. Uh, here it is. You can see there's your Swarovski crystal. That's why it's called crystallized. 
and uh, you can see it's got a really, really nice pattern on it. This is actually a very aggressive texture. If you rub your finger on there, it really grabs onto it. Um, if you, like I said in the video, if you rub your finger on this for long enough, I feel like your skin will start to peel off. It's, it's really, really, really aggressive. Um, it does feel good though to just rub like that. But anyway, the bottom stamp, you can actually see it looks like they've redesigned the Arbor bottom stamps for this year. Um, you can see this is made in April of this year. Normally, the Arbor logo, which is right here, normally this would be under the Zippo logo, and the Zippo logo would be a lot smaller, but it looks like they've kind of went for a more traditional look, and uh, they just kind of moved the Arbor's logo over here, so that is very cool. That's uh, always exciting to me to see subtle changes like that. Also, you'll notice the sound's really different because of how thick it is. You see, I'm not a righty, so it's a little awkward. Um, it sounds different. That's because it is, again, a little bit thicker. I don't know if you'll be able to tell that or not, but it is a little bit thicker than a standard Zippo. Now, the insert is actually made in E of this year, which is going to be May of 2016. So it was actually made a little bit later than the case. And yeah, I am a very big fan of the Zippo. I like it a lot. Um, it was one I've been wanting ever since it came out. I think in 2013, or it might have been 2014 when this one came out thinking about it. But yeah, just a really, really nice model. I like it a lot. Uh, I like the compass. It just, I don't know, everything about it. It's just really cool. You can see we got the waves right here and uh, all the water swishing around. And uh, yeah. I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. Believe it or not, this is a fairly short and sweet uh, edition of the Zippo Collection update from PIZZSEN. Let me see if I can put this back in here. This was originally like right there, I think it was. So yeah, there you go. Um, definitely a shorter haul this year, unfortunately. But you know what? I am still very, very into collecting Zippos. I do not plan on stopping anytime soon. And I'm definitely thinking next year, I'm going to still purchase Zippos like this occasionally, but I'm definitely wanting to start getting into some of the more collectible Zippos and making videos on those. Because I feel like those are probably more so what you guys are interested in. Some of the higher end Zippos out there, like I'm talking some of the ones that can even go for hundreds of dollars. Or well, maybe not hundreds, but you know, probably starting off at around like hundred at the most and uh, going up from there. But yeah, I'm seriously thinking about that. Um, I might go ahead and start looking into getting a couple of the ones from this year if I can for a good price. But um, yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you think of that idea. I just think that that would be a little bit more interesting to a lot more people um, because anybody could purchase this as if I make a video on it. You know what I mean? But not everybody is going to purchase like that hundred dollar. There's like a new dragon armors model that's got like a dragon printed all the way around the Zippo that costs like a hundred bucks, and not everybody's going to be able to buy that one. Let's be honest. So that would be pretty cool to go ahead and just get and show off in a video, show it in more detail and see what you guys think of it. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that idea. But anyways, guys, also let me know what you thought of this lighting. Um, I think it, I thought last year my hands looked kind of pink, but I think this year it helped me out a lot. But anyway, don't really want to drag this video out too, too much longer. So thank you so very much for watching everybody. And I definitely appreciate your support and you're watching this video. So thanks for watching. And adios. I'll see you guys in 2017. Well guys, I am back. As I was watching and editing the video, it actually occurred to me I forgot a couple of things that I really should have included in this video because they are Zippo related. Now one of these things, I think I got this right after I got the uh, Black Crackle 1941 replica. And this is really something I should mention because Zippo actually sent this to me without any warning. Um, they just decided to, it would be a nice gesture to send me this thing. Um, unfortunately, I haven't really had a chance to display it yet but here it is now it's been rolled up 
for a very long time, but just the reason why is because unfortunately there's just really no one to hang it in my current room. But I mean, the camera isn't very tall right now, but you can see this is a poster. Let me see, I might need to raise you guys up a bit. Now, I showed this, I made like a little unboxing video a while ago. You can see this is the flame that hasn't gone out in over 80 years. We got some nice brass Zippos there, a brass Venetian and a plain brass. And we've got the Zippo logo. And the coolest part of this is actually the letter that they sent. They sent me a little Zippo, uh, a little Zippo letterhead just thanking me for being an awesome fan. It was handwritten and um, yeah. So that was really awesome. I'm really, really appreciative of Zippo for doing that. And as those of you who have seen my Christmas Eve video will know, we are actually in the process of moving. So I will be able to hang this in my new room because there's actually gonna be a spot for it. I don't know where I'll put it, but I have a blank wall, a blank canvas to work with. So this is definitely gonna go up somewhere in there. Uh, next time I'm over at that house, I'm gonna bring this by and hopefully I can get it to flatten out a bit because it, it likes to be rolled up at the moment. But anyway, that's it for that. The other thing that I got, which I haven't even made a video about, I was going to make a video, but I didn't like how it turned out. Although, if you guys want me to, I may make, I may revisit it in the future. I actually got one of these. Now this is a Zippo hand warmer. Right now it's inside of its pouch. And here it is, the Zippo hand warmer. This time it's black. I have had a chrome one, and I made a video on the chrome one in the past. But this is the black one. And there it is. This is how it works. Basically, you take this off, you fill this up with lighter fluid, and you put this on, light this, and uh, once this is ignited, it just start glowing red. You put this on top, and basically using like a catalytic reaction, it is going to keep itself warm, and it'll warm itself up very nicely. You just put it right in this pouch, <coughs> and after it's in the pouch, you can just stick it in your pocket, and off you go keep your hands warm so just a nice little thing that I got for myself for the winter and uh, I need to start using it more but um, yeah definitely something I really should have mentioned one thing I also noticed is that it seems that Zippo is putting date codes on these now um, if you look on the burner you'll see we've got a C of 15 which would indicate that the burner was made March of 2015 and the actual hand warmer itself has a C of 15 so the uh, Zippo hand warmer itself, as well as the burner, were both made in March of 2015, assuming that's what that means. So, that's kind of neat. I don't think they used to do that, but they certainly do now. So anyway, yeah, just a real quick addition to this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It's not actually going right now, so don't worry. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much again, and for real now, adios.